Hey folks, welcome back to Honey Money SG. Now, you should know that year 2022 really didn't start out very well, right? We still have like record high cases of COVID due to the Omicron variant. We have bad news after bad news of inflation fears or even stagflation fears. And we've seen the fear spreading around due to interest rate hikes as well, right? Hiking the fragile interest rate as well as the most recent Russian-Ukraine war conflict, which is going to spread so much fear, uncertainty and doubt over the world. But there is certainly one little bit of good news that is the interest rate hikes have been confirmed to be 25 basis points or 0.25% just last week, right? So that gave the market a little bit of positivity that we could look forward to. I guess for now, confirmation is good news and uncertainty is bad news. But let's be cautious here, right? Maybe this might be a relief rally or a bear market rally just for a short term. I don't know. Certainly hope that in the long term, the markets do trend up. So that is what I will do continuously. Dollar cost averaging into the market, just like what my previous video said. And of course, like most of you, my stock market portfolio actually took a huge beating, especially since the mid of December. So my portfolio was not bad either right we are talking about 10 20 percent losses just in the span of three months i guess that's it we all have to be adaptive with change because change is the only concern but you know what is not changing my dollar cost average strategy it will not change because i will continue putting in money over a regular period be it using cash cpf or srs right but for the purpose of this video i will just update you guys on my side portfolio which i'm using cash to dollar cost average and the reason is because i know i cannot time the market and I know you certainly cannot as well. So let's see how my Scythe portfolios have performed so far, right? For both the Scythe Wealth and the Scythe Trade. And just a little update here. Um, ever since I started for Scythe Trade dollar cost average, I have stopped dollar cost average into my Scythe Wealth portfolio because I think these two portfolios are kind of repetitive. So I don't see a point to continue doing Scythe Wealth anymore. But I'll talk more about it in my live portfolio demonstration. Let's go. Alright folks, so let's start off with the Scythe Select Custom Portfolio. For reference, today's date is the 19th of March 2022 and this is my Scythe Select Custom Portfolio, right? And I name it the Diamond Hands, you should know what have I have invested in. Um, the invested amount right now is around 3.3k, so I have not been adding new positions into this portfolio ever since I've started my Scythe Trade journey uh, with Google. So right now, the portfolio return is negative $128 so that is a registered loss right unrealized loss if we take like 128 divided by 3.3k that's around a 3.9% loss so this portfolio right now is still in a negative zone you can see that from this chart ever since the start of the year like 2022 right it has been going downtrend despite me still adding towards the end of January um, I stopped adding ever since February so you can see all these really downtrends right with a little spike up but we are starting to see a little bit of uptrend here maybe we are going back to the positive I don't know only Mr. Market would tell um, but if you're interested in what I invested in this portfolio, right, I only invested in three ETFs, that is your CSPX, which tracks the S&P 500. And then for QQQ, this is the ETF that tracks the NASDAQ 100, okay, the top few tech companies like Microsoft, Apple, Facebook. And then I do have the VWR rate, which is an all-world uses ETF, right, this is like a world index, okay. So they are all in equal proportions of around 33% in my portfolio equally weighted and then there's a small cash component to pay for the excess fee every month so you can see Scythe Select Custom my Diamond Hands portfolio used to be my best performer for these three Scythe Fell portfolios but now seems that it has worked against me right the market so the market really is irrational and you can never predict how it trends up otherwise you sure do have a crystal ball you will make money on every trade so that's how the market is right now Okay, next up, I do have the Honey Money Equity 100. Now it's called the Core Equity 100 Portfolio. Last updated 19th of March as well. And then you can see from my portfolio value, I have not increased any funds um, ever since it has reached $1,000. And now the current market value is around $969. So that is like a $31 of unrealized loss, which means a negative return of 3.1%. Slightly better than my Scythe Select Custom. I'm pretty sure it's because it has more diversified ETFs and funds within this core equity 100, right? Let's take a look at the composition. So you can see there is a lot of diversified funds inside this core equity 100. We do have QQQ, 
we do have a bit of RSP S&P 500 Eco Weight ETF and then the others like S&P 500 CSPX Consumer Staples MSCI China ETF right so I guess maybe that's the reason because it's more diversified you have some of these really targeted sector plays as well so like healthcare like utilities like technology and even like emerging markets right this is what is not captured within my size select like custom portfolio so I'm ashamed to say my own selection of the size select custom has lagged behind the equity 100 portfolio created by Scythe, right? My select custom is around 3.9% loss and then my equity 100 is 3.1% loss. So I'm slightly underperforming equity 100 for now. I repeat for now because markets may change, right? Over the next few months, we really don't know how you will pan out otherwise we would have a crystal ball telling us i do receive a little bit of dividends from this equity hundred but it's not much only just eight dollars so nothing too fancy if you're for dividend play then equity hundred may not be the right one for you right we should want to look at the next one which is your honey money rich plus portfolio right this is more for dividend play wow one thousand and six hundred dollars already sure or not I don't believe man you tell me REITs has gone up so much over the past few months of course that's not the case right because as you know my Scythe referral bonuses are paid into this Scythe REIT plus okay so this must be coming from this bonus right here uh, very recently on 18th of March so I do have to withdraw these funds first and I just give a little bit of brief while I'm doing this withdrawal right uh, because Scythe actually pays out your bonus your referral bonus into one of your portfolios and this is what i have been doing right for example like i receive hundred dollars i'll go and withdraw hundred dollars and i receive like thirty dollars i will go and withdraw another thirty dollars so this twenty dollars i have not withdrawn yet so i want to uh, withdraw this twenty dollars just to set up an apples to apples comparison in case you really regret withdrawing then you can click this cancel button then the request will be cancelled but now let's look at the REITs plus portfolio right how much has REITs grown then i believe with the fed confirming the increase of interest rates by 0.25 percent that serves as a confirmation so i think that removes a lot of uncertainty in the market and a lot of people are coming back and investing in the singapore REITs so you can see the biggest components are in cict a REIT, mlt mint and flt these are the top few REITs, which is quite similar to my REIT portfolio if you refer to my read video in the past so surprise surprise last time i always talk back about read plus right in the last year read plus always lack all the other u.s markets but now if i deduct the 20 dollars of bonus read plus is now performing at 985 dollars or in fact 986 dollars which means a 1.4 percent loss if we compare it over the 1000 dollars that i have invested so i recap again Scythe select custom loss of 3.9 percent Scythe equity 100 loss of 3.1 percent Scythe read plus now became the best performer losing at around 1.4 percent so it's quite interesting right how all this actually plays out and in fact for read plus you can choose for the dividends to be reinvested or pay out um, i chose to be reinvest because i still have a long runway now if you're nearing the retirement age then maybe the payout option is more suitable for you because it increases the cash flow right because you may not have any more monthly income if you're not working at your retirement age so all these dividends from read portfolio will serve as a good cash flow machine to give you a consistent cash flow every month right paid via the dividends so that's a good investing strategy you, you may want to adopt when you are reaching a near retirement age so with that my diamond hands portfolio size select custom not doing very well negative 3.9% my Scythe Equity 100 not doing well at around negative 3.1%. My Scythe Rip Plus, the underdog, actually outperformed the two of them, averaging around negative 1.4%. So I'm still negative for my Scythe Wealth portfolios right now. But I believe the market may turn to some positivity because we have more of those uncertainty removed from the markets, right? So we will see how it goes in the next few months. Alright, so that's for my Scythe Wealth portfolio. Obviously, it has not been doing well. In fact, I thought my Scythe Select Custom was the best performer last year. And now, he has become the worst performer. And Reed Plus suddenly overtook everything, right? How the tide have changed. But with that, let me go on to my Scythe Trade portfolio and show you guys how is it doing. Let's go. Alright, so here is my Scythe Trade platform. You can see that right now, my portfolio value is around 1.1k USD. And here is how the Scythe Trade platform looks like. Over here, you have some of your top movers on the watch list, depending on what you select. But I won't go through that. I just want to go through um, some of the more important stuff, right? Let's take a look at what is in my portfolio. So you may have known from my 
DCA video on what I invested in and I only invested in one stock which is Google. The reason why I buy Google is because I believe in the fundamentals and the long-term business outlook of Alphabet and Google is one of the most dominant players in the advertising industry. And finally, my Google has seen some green, right? Previously, it was around $20 loss in my last update. And I think the market has finally flipped, right? This past week has been quite a good positive week for Google. And just to show you guys my history of buying Google um, every week, right? Here is how it is. Um, I buy Google every week at around um, $100 USD. So like I mentioned, for dollar cost average, when the price goes down, you buy more units. For example, um, in the most recent one at 15 March, I bought 0.039 units with $100 USD. But at the starting stage in January, I was only able to buy like 0.034 units at around 100 USD. So that's how dollar cost average works, right? If the price is high, you buy less units. And if the price is low, you can afford to buy more units. So in a way, in the long term, um, you actually remove the kind of emotional expect. And that is really good for long-term investing. My one-day P&L just shot up like $19, right? $18.50. And my unrealized profit and loss is finally green. Okay, my average price right now is still quite high at around 2.7k. This is in USD. Uh, and then because I have 0.4 units of Google, uh, the market value right now is around 1.1k. And the good thing about using Trade is that I can buy fractional shares, right? I don't need to buy like one whole share of Google. Okay, because Google is so expensive, right? Even before the stock split at around 2k plus. And the thing about Trade is that it gives you two free trades per month after the promo period at 31st March. So maybe you can do some dollar cost average easily without any cost. Um, you can dollar cost average every two weeks, then you can use up the two free trades per month. That's what I would do. Uh. I'm not suggesting you do the same because everyone's appetite is different. And I acknowledge that you may have your own stocks that you want to buy. But with that, I hope you learned something from this side trade demonstration. And if this has added value to your life, please help me comment a thank you. I really appreciate it. And let's get back to the video. Okay, so you can see that my side trade portfolio has finally flipped into the green, which means it's positive right now. Not a very large green, but I do believe Google in long term will give me like uh, very good returns over the long term. So like I mentioned, this little bit of positivity in the market may be good news or bad news to some people, right? Especially if you are in the accumulation stage, you want to accumulate more shares at the low price. But if you are decumulating, then you certainly hope that the market is more bullish, right? So you can cash out at a high point. But as a dollar cost average strategy investor, I don't think this will matter. When the price is high, you buy less units. When the price is lower, you buy more units so that you can avoid market timing, which is what is most important to every investor out there. So if you do want to look at my previous Scythe update, right, then I refer you to this video over here where I updated my portfolio in February so you can take a look and compare how has it changed over time. With that, thank you for watching. My name is Christopher. This is Honey Money SG, steering young adults to financial independence.